Well, we're gonna be playing Handlock on quite low rank. I see you're gonna be really hilarious and really, really bad. So we got a mountain jump from the straight from the start. Uh, we're gonna swap Defender of Fargus and Shadow Flame. Kinda want to keep Shadow Flame because it's a good ward player, but I think that this rogue will be will run like specific cards. Oh wait, that's kind of unexpected. Just on the chat. Uh, it's it's all right. It's all right. We can get a good five health of it, which is really really nice. A mighty berserker is a card which you rarely see in current meta, but uh, next thing we're gonna dark bomb one of them, probably. So I'm each hand. And then next turn we will have Mountain Giant for four mana. Obviously it's really really important what he summons this turn because we might go quite might get quite low on health actually, but we still kind of like have restore five health to the enemy hero from the zombie chow, which which will actually put us at an advantage. Hopefully, I really don't want to dark bomb one mana creature actually. I might dark bomb a money berserker. Yeah, we'll have to either mortal combat or dark bomb. This is like the worst I could do. Okay, uh, now obviously we can play the mountain giant at the next turn, but that still puts us at a card advantage. So we should be able to do quite a quite a big damage to him. Come on. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's quite, quite slow. Oh. Quite a good move. Oh, we have health there. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I should tell him. Sorry. He, he fills up the board and we just destroy it in one move. Well, now. I'm thinking about having so next turn we can have a mountain jam for three and three low cost. Where do I break? Well, one of those two. 100% going out of the board next turn. It's either mountain jam for four mana or twilight drag. I'm really thinking about mountain jam, putting the mountain jam in that or, or just twilight drag plus stand. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to get a town. Town top. Uh, never mind. Let's just let's just grab a card actually. Guess we can mountain giant for three mana plus some free protector next turn for five mana, and then we still have two mana left. Of course, if I get rid of two cards, this mountain gen will be on five mana. Oh, he's ganging up Crim Patron Warriors. Ooh, it's quite brutal and funny, actually. More funny than brutal. Oh. Actually, never, ever, ever have I seen this before. 
This is a really, really cool. So, next turn we can still do Map and Gen for 4 mana, then the for a sector. Hopefully, hopefully. So, we want those big towns up. Specifically against Rogue, as we're not running Harrison Jones in this deck. Oh. So, you're gonna attack this card? Yeah. Ouch. That's why sometimes this is not to be the best. I guess you can kind of kill both of them, but you can still go for like. Mm. Worst case scenario, 9. Assassin. So bad. I think now we have quite a big advantage since there's no way he can win. There's no way he can win. Obviously. Mountain Giant. And we will start in our chest, just in case he would attack us. And. Oh, I should have put the. Uh, should have put the. Uh, heal about here, but. And we can tap for two. Great. Great tapping. So now we're in a pretty good situation. We have two towns up, uh, 15 health, and he only has one card, which. This is in a massive advantage. Oh, good game, Mr. R Rogue. Or Reheart. I can't. I can't read his name. This is quite hilarious.